FSU officially sucks at football. But let me tell you, I predicted this loss thanks to my social psychology class. There is this thing called regression to the mean. According to my book, in the 19th century, Sir Francis Galton introduced the concept of statistical regression, also called regression to the mean, which refers to the statistical tendency for extreme scores or extreme behavior to return toward the average. What exactly does this mean in concerns to FSU football, you might ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. First, Florida State played Miami, and they did okay. It was a medium performance. Then they played Jacksonville State, and they did very poorly, even though we won, we did very poorly. Then we played BYU, and we did very well, and we won. And then we played South Florida today. And according to this theory, we did bad, and then we did good. And so today, we should play bad again. And guess what happened? We played bad again. I don't know how that explains the Gators doing so well all the time, but maybe their regression to the mean will take much longer. And in a year or so, their winning streak will turn into a losing streak. That's what I'm hoping for, I guess. Game early because it was so depressing. We were losing so bad. <sighs> I think this final score was 17 to 7 or something. It was bad. It was so bad. As you can see, my hair is kind of wet because I just took a shower because the game was at noon today, which meant it was very hot. And even though I took a shower this morning, I had to take another one because I was sweating. On a more personal note, all this week I've been sick. But I'm not sick anymore! Yay! And that's messed with my brain somehow. Not with my school brain, the part that makes me do well in school, because I still got 39 out of 40 on my social psych exam. But with the rest of my brain, my real brain, the part that, you know, thinks about real life stuff, it was just not working. I didn't really have to use it during the week because mostly I'm just doing schoolwork. But the weekend came and that's when I noticed my real brain was not working. First thing that happened. On Friday, I wanted to go shopping and so I was going to get my car in the garage and I went to the garage and I walked all the way up to the fourth floor where I thought I had parked my car. And I got there, and my car was not where I thought I had parked it. Let me tell you, this was for real scary. I thought 100% for sure my car was parked on the fourth floor. And I got there, and it was not there. And I thought someone had maybe stolen my car or something. I don't know. But then I thought about it. Really, really thought about it. And I realized... The only way my car would be parked on the fourth floor was if I had come back on a Sunday and parked it. Because there's never any parking in the garage on Sundays. And I hadn't gone anywhere over the weekend on Sunday. I had gone places on Saturday, and that was it. So I knew that I was parked somewhere on the bottom of the garage, but I had no idea what floor. So I called my friend, and I was like, hey, I need your help. I don't remember where I parked my car. Can you drive me around the garage and help me find it? My friend agreed. We went around the garage and my car was actually parked on the first floor. So I probably could have found it really fast on my own. I thought maybe it was on like the second or the third floor and that's a lot of walking because about like 70 or 80 cars can be parked on one floor of that garage. So yeah. First thing that happened. I definitely wrote down where my car was parked on my board, so I won't forget again. Second thing that happened, Saturday, we were playing Guelph. That game always trips me up. I don't know why, but I always say weird crap when I play Guelph. One of the questions was about a casino. What things you can gamble on in a casino? My friend said, none of us are old enough to gamble. And I was like, yes we are, we're 18, we can gamble. 
which I was right. If you're 18, you can gamble, but you can't gamble in a casino unless you're 21. So she was right in that regard, but she did not make it clear that she was talking about gambling in a casino, just gambling in general. So I was right. Someone made a comment about, of course, you're not allowed to gamble until you're 21 because your frontal lobe is not developed until you are 21. And I, the brilliant person that I am, said that. If that were the case, then the drinking age would be 21. And, oh, guess what? The drinking age is 21. I don't know what I was thinking because I don't drink and I'm 19. I guess a lot of people that do drink are not 21 so it just popped into my head that it's not the drinking age because really it is but it isn't because people drink anyways but I don't know what I was thinking when I said that and that's it really that's just my stupidity dad this is for you because you said this song was really hard to figure out how to do and actually it's not that hard even though I didn't really learn the whole thing just the beginning and I didn't learn all the beginning but still I could learn it if I really wanted to, just to prove to you that's not that hard. but pretty close. And that's it for this edition of Elizabeth Vlogs. Please tune in next time for an even more exciting account into a life of a normal college student. Uh.